Hello everybody, this is Dee from Dee's Cute and Crafty. Thank you so much for joining me for another easy and cute DIY today. Today it is all about the bumblebee. So, I have three bee decor DIYs for you today. So, let's get into them. You're going to need some beads. I have these assorted wood beads and these are from Hobby Lobby. I know they're in a Walmart container, but I kept the container and I'm glad I did because I can use this. You're going to need an X-Acto knife, some wire of choice. You're going to need a popsicle stick, tongue depressor, whatever you want to call it. You're going to need some black paint and some yellow paint. I am using my homemade chalk paint and I'm also using the Apple Barrel Lemon. I did not have the maize. The lemon will do just fine. I have some scissors, some wire cutters, and some markers, and my gator. I also have a um, dowel so that I can paint my beads. So, I have one of these fat beads. I also have a long bead. I want to switch up the body and how they look. This will be the body of one, this will be the body of another, and then these beads will be the heads. So let's paint our beads, you guys. Now that we've got our beads painted, I painted the yellow for the bodies, and I wanted two different sizes, and I painted the black for the heads. We're going to put those down. Excuse my hands. They are peeling. Um, just because of the type of soap I have to use at work, it's bothering my hands, but it is what it is. We are going to make the wings out of this tongue depressor stick. So I want the I want the um, rounded edge. So I'm just going to score it on both sides because I want them both. Score it again. And then what I want to do is cut these in half. And then we'll get those painted yellow as well. So I've cut the rounded edges off of the popsicle sticks and here you see me just measuring how long I want the wings to be. And I think these are going to be a little bit too long. So all I'm going to do is cut them down. And then I'm going to round them out. That's why I'm cutting them. If you can see what I'm doing, I'm cutting them at an angle. Just cutting the tips off. The little tips on the sides, cut those off. And then take your sander and just round it out. And you're going to do that quick and easy, just like that, for each wing. And then I put it back on there to see if I like it. And I actually like the wings kind of big, so this is perfect for me. So I'm going to do all four wings and get them painted yellow. Now that I've got both pairs of wings painted, I did do a pair in black just because I wanted to have some variation and a little more fun and a little more whimsy. So I'm going to just take my marker and just going to make a curly cute S. Just for whimsy, just for fun. just to give the wings a little bit of detail and make them cute. And then I'm going to take my wire because we need some antenna and we need some legs. So I'm just going to snip off little pieces of wire, two for the antenna, two for the legs. I don't know if bumblebees have four legs, six legs. I've seen it both ways in um, home decor, B art. So we're gonna go with four. I'm just gonna snip that wire and I don't even know what gauge this is. I picked that wire up at um, Joann's. 
a while back. So I am just going to curl this the way that I want it. If you have a pair of jewelry, uh, of jewelry pliers, then you can definitely use that. But I'm just going to curl these up just like that. Can you guys see it? Just make a little coil. like that just a little just a little coil just a little loop and then we're going to make the legs and the legs I'm going to bend this way I'm going to bend an L shape like that because you need to be able to sit that under the body so you want the L shape and then the bottom piece I'm just going to bend it out like that so that you have a foot so it looks like a Z. I'm trying to get it so you guys can see it. It looks like a Z, if you can see that. That's what you want. And then we're just going to glue the head to the body and attach the wings using hot glue. So I've attached one already. I'm just going to put some hot glue around the bead. And then sit it right inside I'm going to clean up my excess glue really quickly before it sets up and now we have both of our heads attached I painted the wings front and back and I put my little curly cues on there but what I didn't do was paint it at the very tippy top where I'm going to apply the glue because I want the connection to be really good and I don't want there to be paint in the way. So we're just going to glue the wing down. And glue the other one. And then we're going to add the antennae and the feet. So I'm going to take my black Sharpie and I'm going to draw my lines, my little rings. Just put three on the back, and then I'm going to put some hot glue inside the bead and attach the antenna or antennae, however you want to say it, tomato, tomato. Put them in as far down as you'd like, totally up to you. And give them time to set. I like to try to clean up some of the glue if I can while it's still wet. Then I'm going to add my wings on. I left a spot on the back without any paint on it in hopes to get a really good adherence. You can definitely use wood glue if you choose. These are decorative. They're not going to be picked up or touched or played with or anything like that. So I find for video purposes and for my home decor that the hot glue is fine. And then we're just going to put his little feet on and we are done with the bumblebees. So you guys, I just run a bead of glue along the back. Let me bring you down. 
and then I take my little Z pieces and I just set it in the glue and you have to hold it until it sets up I'm going to add a little bit more if I feel like I need it. And because I can already tell that these legs are too long, I'm going to cut them. Just like I did the ones in the front. Now that I've got my bees all put together, I'm just going to go in with my homemade black chalk paint because I want to paint the antenna. They're silver and you can leave them silver if you choose to. I just don't choose to. I like it black. So I'm just going in and I'm painting it all black and then this project will be done. So they're done you guys. They are so adorable. I love how they came out and I can't wait to style them and show you guys how everything looks at the end. Now on to DIY number two. So for this next DIY, you're going to need one of these Dollar Tree crates that have the three lines or the three planks of demarcation, the two lines. We're gonna make this into a stack of books, the quickest, easiest way to do it. Very ingenious of the YouTuber that created it, and I'm sorry I don't know her name, but I've seen this from other YouTubers on YouTube. And I've done it myself. We're just going to do it with the bee theme in mind. I have some jute. I've got some little flowers, my little scraps that I keep, and I've got some buffalo check ribbon. So all we're going to do is start out by painting this box black, white, and yellow. I'm going to do my first coat up here white and then take that down into the first first um, set of books. So we're just going to get some white paint using my own homemade chalk paint that I love, love, love to use. So we're just going to get this painted. Now that I have my box all painted, I wrote in my own handwriting in pencil like I often tend to do um, before I go back in with my Sharpie. So I just put be kind, be happy, be blessed, and now I'm just going to go over it in my Sharpie so that it stands out. Using black on the white, using white on the black, and using black on the yellow. It just makes it easier to do for me when I do it in pencil first. And this is how it looks. Be kind, be happy, be blessed. And I'm just going to embellish with some buffalo check ribbon. And I just want to go across the top and stop it here. So I'm going to hot glue that down. And I'm actually going to do two pieces of that because I want to add some of the twine. So I need to make sure it's wide enough so that we can see the twine. Just going to add that.
and then cut another strip. So I added my two pieces of buffalo check ribbon and then I just took the twine and I did a twist just like this. I twisted it and then I added it on top. So I've got my flowers. I think I'm going to put them right here on the corner so that you don't see the ends of where I cut the ribbon and the twine. So I think I'm going to hot glue my flowers down right here like that. And then I made a twine bow and a buffalo check bow. And I'm going to hot glue them both right here. And then this is going to be done. So this is how it turned out. I think it's so cute and I can't wait to show you how I style it. Now on to DIY and our last DIY number three. So for DIY number three we are going to be making a bee skep. So I picked up this coconut at Dollar Tree. It is a coconut cup and screamed bee skep the minute I saw it. I knew that that's what I would do with it. I have these paper plates from Joann's. I really love these. I got them because of the bee that's on it. We're going to be cutting that out and using it. Um, these were $4.99 with like 60% off. Then I have, of course, the nautical rope from the Dollar Tree. You're going to need um, two of these. And I've got some bits and bobs of flowers and either black paint or a black marker. Just depends on what you want to do. So let's get started. We're going to start by opening this coconut. Getting rid of this flower. I don't know what I can use it for, but I'll save it because you never know. We're going to leave it closed. We don't need to take it apart. It's going to leave it the way it is. And we're just going to start hot gluing and wrapping this twine around this coconut leaving space at the top for the little handle part. I like to cut my twine at an angle. When I start, it lays flat. When you do, th do that, when you do that, get my mouth right. <laughs> and so I use my wire cutters. You can definitely use scissors for that, but I use my wire cutters. It gives you a flat edge and then you can start by hot gluing your twine onto the coconut. Just going to do this until we get all the way to the top. So you guys, I took a little bit of the nautical cord and I cut the edges at an angle on both ends so that it lays more flat at the top. And I'm going to go ahead and secure this down now before I continue on with my cord. So that way when I continue wrapping, I'm also securing this in even more by wrapping around it. 
Now that I've got my twine on here, I'm just going in with this black chalk paint and I'm making the hole or the circle that you typically see on a B-scup. I'm just pushing that into the twine. I did my outline of the circle first with a Sharpie. And that is it for that part. Now I'm just going to add some flowers and my little bees and it will be done. Just gonna cut the bees off of the paper plate and add them to the scalp. Because I want to define this opening a little bit more, I'm going to add a piece of twine around it. So I'm just gonna take my hot glue and outline the circle that I've already painted in. And I'm just gonna lay down a piece of this thicker twine, it's not the thin twine from Dollar Tree. This is the twine from Walmart. It's a little bit thicker. So I'm gonna use it for this. I've already got one of my bees glued on. I'm going to glue on one more. But before I do that, I did a little bunch of these leftover flowers that I have from various projects and I just put some twine around them and I'm going to glue them to the top and add my last bumblebee. And this is done. How cute is that? So let's see everything all put together, you guys. Come on, let's go. So you guys, this is the final result. This is the end product of the three DIYs we did with Bumblebee theme. I love it. You guys know I love how it turned out. I hope you love it too. If you do, give this video a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Share it with all your friends and your family. Maybe they'll stop by at Dee's Cute and Crafty and enjoy a video as well. Until I see you in my next one, be blessed, stay safe, and craft something beautiful today, you guys. Bye.